So in case you haven't noticed, the new Pixel 7 series by Google has been getting a lot of attention lately, but today I thought I would talk about one of my favorite phones that I've used this past year, and that's the older Pixel 6 Pro. But is it still worth it in 2023? Well, first off, the build quality on this phone, still really nice, even when comparing it to the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Some might even like this design over the new Pixels, as far as how the camera visor looks on the back. The software on this phone is probably one of the reasons why I tend to like Android a little bit more than say what Apple has to offer on their iPhones. There's so many small things that Google does that just feels like it has a little more polish than some of the other Android phones I've used. Plus you still have plenty of software and security updates to go yet. I believe this one gets updated all the way to Android 16, but the software is going to be very similar to the Pixel 7 Pro, which is currently on Android 13 as of this video and it seems to be getting better and better with each update not to mention the call screening on here is great to have I just feel like I get less spam in general when using this phone compared to some of the others it has a pretty large 6.7 inch slightly curved AMOLED screen with up to 120 hertz refresh rate which is quite nice to use even if I'm not the biggest fan of curved screens but this one's still somewhat subtle compared to some of the others in the past like the OnePlus 7 Pro. The screen has good contrast, nice and dark blacks on here and regardless of what you're watching, what games you're playing, everything seems to look really nice on here and is one of the better displays out there in my opinion. The finger print scanner could be a little faster but it's still better or more reliable than the Pixel 6a. One downside is the curved screen does make it a little harder to find screen protectors which is probably why I just used the cheaper flexible version versus tempered glass. The other weird thing about the Pixel 6 Pro is you don't have face unlock which actually works really good on the Pixel 7 series especially if you don't want to mess around with fingerprint scanners or pen or password. And then when it comes to the cameras, picture quality has always been one of the things that Pixels have been known for, and that's the case with the Pixel 6 Pro. I've taken it on a couple vacations, and I feel like it has everything that you would need in a camera, especially with the zoom in ability with the telephoto lens there on the back. You can also shoot up to 4K, 60 frames per second on here, which definitely comes in handy when shooting YouTube videos. Although I wish you could use an adapter to connect this to a TV or external monitor. That's something that you get on on Samsung phones, but not on Pixel phones for some reason. Now it is going to struggle a little bit in low light situations, but as long as you have good lighting, you can get some really good quality from this phone when it comes to video, but when it comes to photos, that's what it's probably best at. The performance on this phone, even though it's the first gen Tensor chip from Google, still fairly close to the newer version in the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. As you can see by the Geekbench scores, it's got plenty of power for most games, multitasking, just about everything you would need to do on here. Battery life on the Pixel 6 Pro was also pretty great in my experience, lasting 11 and a half hours in my battery drain test, easily lasting through the entire day. Even when I was streaming YouTube videos or listening to podcasts, Podcasts, off and on throughout the day while working on other stuff. You also get wireless charging on here, which is not a must have in my opinion, but it's nice to have while traveling. So I can just throw this in my car down in the charging area. And then the speakers on here are pretty good as well. Although to be honest, I probably use Bluetooth headphones most of the time anyways. But in my opinion, yes, the Pixel 6 Pro is still worth it in 2023, especially if you want the higher refresh rate, wireless charging, a little better cameras with telephoto on the back, probably a better option than the Pixel 6a in most cases, as long as you're okay with having the bigger curved screen, because at times this phone can feel a little heavy, at least in my use, and you should be able to get this for quite a bit cheaper than the Pixel 7 Pro, especially if you're wanting the bigger screen. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.